Juices, smoothies, fruit and melons and berries and some veggies, whole dum dum meat and dairy. We are not designed to eat meat. We are not designed to consume flesh and blood. Things that turn into pus and mucus in the body. If you know from our biology, you know we closely resemble primates. Fruit eaters, if you believe in the theory of evolution, survival of the fittest, where we came from was frugivores, fruit eaters, from our taste buds loving sweet things, you know, from our hands, from the way our teeth is shaped, we are fruit eaters. Guys, the human species is the one is the main species that suffers so many diseases and illness because we've been confused about what we are designed to eat. Get a baby, put a ba put a baby bunny rabbit in front of it, put a thing of grapes in front of it. What's it gonna go for? It's gonna go for the grapes every single time, unless you're something like Demon Kid or something like that. But the main thing we want to get across is that we have to come back to what we're designed to eat. Yes, even to the um, uh, to you know people who are following things like the starch solution, we have to look at that from a natural perspective. Yes, we can even consume starches; they're great, they give us energy. But look at them in their natural states. You know, look at rice in its natural state, completely unedible. Potatoes in its natural state. Why would you even go there? You know, so we have to come back to a fruit-based diet. A fruit-based diet. This is not saying starches are evil. You know, it's all about transitioning, guys. It's all about transitioning. I'm on a journey transitioning back to a fruit-based raw vegan diet, which makes the most sense, you know, out there. So guys, let's let's transform this world. Let's bring us back to a healthy, vibrant, compassionate world where people aren't suffering like we are of illness. As always, this has been Clinton, Peace, Love, Veganism. Like and subscribe and have a great day.